2080 Bear Valley Parkway. Going to go ahead and do a quick roof inspection. And uh, the patio cover does appear to be in pretty good shape. Um, looks like it is attached to the fascia, and so we're not going to replace the fascia um, where the patio cover is attached to it. But around the rest of the house, we will go ahead and replace all the fascia. Um, I would say 80% of it is probably bad. We're not going to replace the uh, one by three piece of trim that goes around. Uh, definitely not the original roof. Um, and surprisingly, some of these shingles are still in pretty good condition. Um, there's definitely some install um, issues and uh, I don't know if it's a major manufacturer defect, but as we look around, we see a ton of uh, cracks in these shingles and I can't quite figure out what's creating so many cracks in the shingles around this home. I'm hoping it's a manufacturer defect. Um, typically when we see tears in the shingles like that, um, it's typically like the house settling and it's going to be in one, you know, uh, one, one location on the house. And a lot of times it's accompanied with cracks in the stucco and foundation problems, things like that cracks on the, uh, drywall. But, um, but I don't think that's the case here. Um, and quite frankly, I can't remember a time when I've seen this many torn shingles, um, horizontally up and down the roof. I checked the nailing pattern. The nailing pattern actually looks correct uh, for the most part. You know, we've got some uh, some shingle courses that weren't done straight, um, some flashings that are kind of interesting. But um, over here on the south-facing roof slope, the, these are definitely the, the worst condition because just wear and tear on the, uh, that gets the most sun exposure. But yeah, it's uh, that's pretty interesting to see all of these tears through the shingles. I'm um, just uh, kind of wondering why that's happening so much.